when the dead finally rise and try to take our world as their own, trust us, it will happen eventually. Your commonplace flimsy cars will just not be good enough. A trip to the shops will go very wrong unless you've got a tank or, failing that, one of the vehicles in this video. These are zombie-proof vehicles you'll regret not seeing. Number 15. Anti-Zombie Batmobile Batman has always had some cool cars, even the original Batmobile was kind of amazing. And when your special superpower is money, you can afford to buy a new car every movie, which is not something Superman can do, working as a low-level journalist, believe me. I ought to know. Anyway, as most Batman fans will know by now, there's a new Batman film coming in 2022, starring former teen heartthrob and lover of mermaids, Robert Pattinson. And our sources say there will be a new Batmobile for him to cruise around Gotham City in as he searches for the Riddler. What's even more exciting is the rumor that this Batmobile will be zombie-proof? Why would he need a zombie-proof Batmobile if Gotham City wasn't going to be filled with zombies? What could be better than Batman cutting through hordes of the undead as he struggles to free his beloved hometown from its darkness? I guess we will have to wait and find out. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. In this incredible footage, you can see a vehicle that just would not struggle in mowing down hordes and hordes of zombies. It plows through water no problem, it goes up hills no problem, it goes down hills no problem. It navigates streams, grass, water, and mud. At one point, it even semi-submerges in the lake and still bursts out and keeps driving on. Rick Grimes clearly needed one of these bad boys. As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. Paramount Group Marauder now, if you're not Batman, you are going to have to go out and get your own vehicle. And one of our top recommendations is the famous Marauder, built by South Africa's Paramount Group. This armored vehicle is thought to be one of the toughest things on the road, and is mine-proof as well as fully armored. Launched in 2007 at one of the Middle East's biggest military shows in Dubai, the Marauder was designed for reconnaissance and peacekeeping. But it could just as well have been designed for mowing down a bunch of zombies it can take eight passengers, so you can save some of your buddies too. Although telling your ninth best friend that they have to stay with the zombies is going to be kinda brutal, the Marauder can also fit machine guns, cannon, and missile launchers, if you want to make double sure of getting the hell out of Dodge. Not used much by Western militaries, this vehicle is more popular in Africa, where there's plenty of marauding to be done. Number 13. Pal V if you find yourself in a spot where there are so many damn zombies you can't even drive over them, then how about taking to the air? So far, I've never heard of flying zombies, but if there's any Hollywood movie producers out there who want a screenplay on flying zombies, hit me up. I'll have it to you in five minutes. But for now, let's just say that one of your best options for escaping the zombie apocalypse is to fly away from it, and for that, you will need the world's first commercial flying car, Holland's Pal-V. It kinda looks like a helicopter, but is a cross between an auto gyro and a car. However, you will only be able to fly this thing once you have gained your private pilot license, but once this is done, you are free to drive this as a three-wheeled car on the roads, and then you can find a suitable spot, flip out the rotors, and take to the air. There's a Sport Edition and a Pioneer model to choose between. Sign me up, you scream! Well, aside from the license, you'll also be needing half a million dollars. Number 12. Water Car Python 
Inspired by the Amphicar of the 1960s, Dave March of Southern California set out in the late 90s to create his own version of the amphibious car. Can zombies swim? Well, maybe, but at least having one of these would give you options. Anyway, by 2013, several prototypes of the water car had been developed, and Dave was ready to launch the water car python. The Python is basically the love child of a jet ski, a luxury speedboat, and a Chevy Corvette, from which it borrows the brutal 6.8-liter V8. This means the water car will do 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds, which ought to get you to the water quick enough. Once there, a button press is all that's needed to retract the wheels and fire up the jet, and then this beast will hit 60 miles per hour on water, which ought to get you out of sight of any swimming zombies, and also you will look really cool blasting across the water in something that looks like a modded hot rod. The chassis will set you back 170000 but if you pick that big Chevy monster as your engine, getting it installed will cost another 50 grand. But what price? Safety from zombie attack. Number 11. Triumph Rocket 3 but what if a massive V8 water monster is not quite badass enough? You will be needing a motorcycle, it seems, so you can swing past the zombies, blowing off heads with a sawn-off shotgun. And when it comes to badass motorcycles, there is no manufacturer more badass than Britain's Triumph. And it's their Rocket 3 model that we recommend. This hog is the largest displacement motorcycle in the world, and as we all know, ain't no replacement for displacement. What's even better is that this still looks like a real motorcycle, not some wind tunnel chiseled thing that was designed by someone on their 25th can of Monster Energy. It is based on a 1960s motorcycle, but can rip along at 100 and 45 miles per hour, pushing 160 pounds per foot of torque, and Triumph themselves describe it as the ultimate muscle street fighter. And it even has some cute little side bags for all your groceries. I mean, weaponry. Back in 1902, Triumph made their first motorcycle, and a pretty neat fact is that the starter motor on the Rocket 3 is as powerful as the entire engine on that first bike. So start her up, pull that throttle, and say goodbye to them zombies. Number 10. Bugatti Veyron Bugatti is one of France's oldest and most famous sports car manufacturers, founded back in 1909 by Italian immigrant Ettore Bugatti. After Bugatti died, leaving no successor, the mark, which had been practically unbeatable in auto racing back in the 1920s, declined and was eventually sold on. It seemed like Bugatti's name would disappear with so many other fantastic car manufacturers of the early 20th century. But in 1987, Bugatti was relaunched, with a new factory eventually built in Malchium, right back where it all started. When Bugatti began rebuilding their reputation for creating the ultimate high-performance cars, culminating with the insane Bugatti Veyron, named for one of their legendary Le Mans winning drivers, Pierre Veyron. This roadster has a top speed of 254 miles per hour, which is pretty damn quick. Motoring journalist Jeremy Clarkson called it the greatest car ever made and the greatest car we will ever see in our lifetime. Bugatti owners Volkswagen spent $5 million on making each car, and they sell them at a $4 million loss, seeing it as an investment in technical advances. And it will also help you steer clear of any zombies driving any other car on the road. Number 9. Aston Martin DB9 Maybe you want a few extra options for your escape than just pure speed. How about the Aston Martin DB9? It might not be as fast as the Veyron, but it's certainly quick enough at 180 miles per hour and plenty of torque generated from the massive 5.91 V12. Those things sound cool. In fact, the DB9 might offer something even better than escape. It looks, sounds, and feels so incredibly good that you may even forget about the zombies. Or better, the zombies will all take out their phone cameras and start taking pictures of what is probably one of the most beautiful cars of the 21st century. 
The understated British styling of Aston Martin is always a winner, but there's something extra special about the way this one looks. The zombies would probably be more likely to ask you to go for a ride than eat your brains if you were in one of these. And let's not forget that James Bond likes to drive the Aston Martin, so you could probably ask Q to fit some rocket launchers or whatever. That'll help out too. Number 8. Mercedes-Benz Unimog the Unimog is one of the most popular all-purpose vehicles in the world, and they were first manufactured by Mercedes-Benz all the way back in 1948, where the idea was to create a vehicle which would be complementary to regular tractors and could be used in logging. But it was soon discovered that this incredibly well-built and versatile vehicle had uses in a wide range of environments. In Europe, they are often used as snow plows, while in South America, they find their home in jungle environments due to their all-terrain capabilities and massive ground clearance. They have also been used in the armies of France, Germany, Argentina, Chile, Peru, and Bolivia. Their list of jobs is impressive. Pulling aircraft and trains, running farmyard chippers and grain augers, mowing roadside hedges, as fire trucks, and even as competitive rally cars. You don't see many Unimogs in the US due to regulations limiting their importation, but that definitely puts the US at a disadvantage in the zombie apocalypse, as this is one amazing vehicle. Number 7. Local Motors Rally Fighter the Local Motors Rally Fighter is the first car ever developed through co-creation, and all of you out there who are boiling with rage that all our cars so far have not been democratic enough can all pipe down, because here is the car built by committee and thousands of voters all over the world called the shots on how this machine would look and what it would run on. Who needs a chief designer? No one, as long as you don't mind your car ending up looking like an eight-year-old's fantasy Hot Wheel sketch, because it does kinda look like that. I want massive ground clearance, and I want it to look like a TVR, and also like a P-51 Mustang fighter plane, in orange, and black, and with Recaro seats, and roll cage, and air conditioning. And I, uh, I mean we, want the massive V8 under the hood. That sounds like a thousand lions roaring into a cloudless sky, so that's what you get for $100,000. Number 6. Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG 6x6 4x4 four four vehicles have been around for a long time, and as far as I'm aware, millions of people are still being eaten by zombies every year, so clearly there is a problem here. Namely, 4x4 four four is not enough. If you don't want your brains being served up in an undead branch of Subway, you are going to need a 6x6. Yeah, that's right, only a six-wheeler is going to save your ass from the zombies. And there's only one 6x6 pickup you need to know about, and that is the Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG 6x6. Originally developed for the Australian Army, who allegedly are unwilling to drive any vehicle that does not include a flatbed, there was pretty soon a major thirst for this monster among regular civilian drivers. You get a massive 5.51 V8 to power all those wheels too, and it will get you to 60 in a little over 6 seconds. So if you have $400,000 to spare, you can drive this star of GTA 5 and obliterate all the zombies in your path with six-wheel superpower. Number 5. Chevrolet Silverado Black Ops when it comes to trucks that don't have six wheels, you're going to want a truck made by Chevy because Chevy makes badass trucks, and there is literally no other truck on God's green earth more badass than a Chevrolet Silverado Black Ops concept. This thing is designed to be a survival kit with wheels. No matter what you throw at this monster, it's going to handle it, and was designed to withstand hurricanes, floods, earthquakes, war, and of course, zombies. And Chevy ain't screwing around here. This mean-looking machine not only has an extra powerful winch motor, it has a full survival kit slotted into the bed, including a solar power pack, a pair of gas masks, gloves, military first aid kit, folding shovel, and rope. It also has a generator, fuel can, and water can, along with a crate, which can be stocked with food. It also has a beefed-up 355 horsepower, 
5.31 engine, which just so happens to deliver the best V8 fuel economy of its vehicle type, so you won't be wasting any gas on your escape from the zombie hordes. Number 4. Water Car Amphibious Jeep so maybe cruising out on the water in a weird hot rod slash 1970s pleasure boat mashup like we saw in the earlier water car would be kind of embarrassing. We don't want the zombies laughing at you and shouting, see you in Hamptons, right? So you'll be needing the amphibious car that's a little cooler than the Python. Water car, have got your back with the amphibious Jeep. Jeeps are badass, as everybody knows, because World War II soldiers drove them around everywhere with roll-up cigarettes hanging out of the corners of their mouths, wiping out the bad guys. And they've figured in pretty much every war since. So they're going to be big in the zombie war, and what better than a Jeep? You can just dive right into the water. This floaty Jeep has a sweet 3.71 Honda V6 keeping it going, and will do 40 miles per hour on water, hitting 80 miles per hour on land. The transition from car to boat only takes 15 seconds, so if you can hold them off while it folds its wheels up and gets ready for a swim, you'll be golden. Number 3. Sportsmobile Ultimate Adventure Vehicle Sportsmobiles specialize in customizing vans and have been in the business of aftermarket customization since the early 1960s. A lot of their work is done on Ford's RVs, and it was a Ford E350 which formed the basis of their zombie-proof creation, the Sportsmobile Ultimate Adventure Vehicle. The Ford E350 is already a pretty badass vehicle, but the Sportsmobile takes it to a whole new level. As it says on the windshield sticker, they are built tough. This machine is perfectly capable of running out for groceries, but it's also capable of extreme off-road driving, and if there's one car you want with you when you are hiding out in the middle of nowhere after fleeing a zombie uprising, it's this monster. Extensive interior and exterior modifications make this a dependable companion, and a whole new 4x4 system means you can drive the ultimate adventure vehicle through a canyon and come out with barely a scratch. If you want any further evidence of just how amazing an adventure vehicle this is, then I can tell you Jimmy Buffett owns one. And that is a man who has spent his entire life desperately driving from Tropical Island to Tropical Island to escape the parrot heads who follow him everywhere, which are basically a kind of living zombie. Number 2. Gibbs Quadski Amphibious Four-Wheel Drive Quad so, when the half-rotten army finally descend on your town, there's only one thing you can do, which is turn to your best buddy and say, Hey broski, zombies, better get on the quadski and get out of here, and you'll be needing a Gibbs quadski amphibious four-wheel drive quad, and also your broski. This machine is a quad bike capable of 40 miles per hour speeds, all with four wheel drive. And when you hit some water, a five second conversion turns it into a jet ski, which will do the same speed on the water. Pretty cool. Made in the good old US of A, it contains a four cylinder BMW engine that throws out 175 horsepower. And a 15 gallon fuel tank will get you plenty of mileage on it. At $40,000, you need to ask yourself whether you can afford not to buy one of these, given that the zombies are by now probably starting to dig their way out of their graves and will soon be amassing in a cemetery near you. Don't let them have it all their own way. Get yourself a quad ski and keep your brains in your skull where they belong. Number 1. Night 15 Fully Armored SUV in the end, most of the vehicles listed above are pretty great, but they all have one problem. Yeah, sure, they'll save you from zombies, but will I be insanely comfortable and swathed in opulent luxury while they do it? The answer for the most part is no, and it would be pretty unreasonable to respond to the emergency evacuation calls due to zombie apocalypse by saying I ain't moving unless I've got first class accommodations. And that's where the Knight 15 fully armored SUV steps in. This armored SUV will protect you from all kinds of crazy stuff, but you'll still feel like you're cruising around in a Rolls Royce as you go. It comes with some cool stuff, like built-in oxygen 
survival kit, under vehicle magnetic attachment detection system, multiple armor levels, and a black box system. But more importantly, it also comes with luxury carpeting, leather trim, flat screen TV, with Blu-ray player Bluetooth equipment, and a sunroof. Wow, imagine having a bomb-proof car and leaving the sunroof open. That would be dumb. Still, that 6.81 V8 will keep you moving, and the air ride suspension will ensure you don't spill your coupe of champagne as you flee for your life. Do you think the zombies are really coming? Which of these vehicles would you choose if the zombie apocalypse began tomorrow? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.